In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to use the WP Rocket plugin to improve the speed and performance of your website. WP Rocket is a powerful caching plugin designed specifically for WordPress websites. It focuses on improving the performance and speed of your site by implementing various optimization techniques. This fantastic plugin just boosts the loading time of your website. The plugin's main feature is page caching, where it creates static HTML versions of your dynamic web pages and serves them to visitors, reducing server processing time and enhancing page load times. Additionally, WP Rocket enables browser caching, allowing visitors to store static files in their browser cache for faster subsequent visits. This fantastic video will cover everything from installing the plugin and configuring each and every related setting. But before we start, we post WordPress related content regularly, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. As you can see, this is the website from where you can easily download the WP Rocket plugin. Let's move forward to buy this amazing plugin. You can see it offers three pricing plans here. You can select the plan as per your preference. You just need to fill in basic details, make payment, and place your order. That's it. You'll then be able to download the plugin. Moving further to its installation, all you need to do is move back to your WordPress website. And there are two ways to install the plugin. One is by moving to Plugins and then clicking on Add New. Then simply search for WP Rocket in the search bar. You can now simply install and activate the plugin. I've already installed it. If you still need help installing plugins in your WordPress, then we have a video where you can learn that as well. I'll link the video in the description below, or you can click on the eye icon on the top right corner of your screen to view the video. Now, another way is to simply click on Add New here, and you can simply upload the plugin file here, which was downloaded from the website. Once done, you can install and activate the plugin. So now we've successfully installed and activated the plugin. It's now time to configure it. Simply click on the settings link here, or you can also hover on settings in the sidebar and click on the WP Rocket. This is the dashboard of the plugin. You can see WP Rocket has been activated successfully. You can find some information here just like license and expiration date detail. You can simply remove all cache files from here. You can see various tabs over here. So let's move first to the cache. You'll notice that mobile caching is turned on by default here. However, I recommend you check the separate cache files for mobile devices option as well. This option allows WP Rocket to create separate cache files for mobile users. Checking this option ensures that mobile users get the full cached mobile experience. Moving next to the user cache, for websites requiring user login, enabling the user cache option enhances the experience for logged in users. This is particularly beneficial for WooCommerce stores or membership websites, as it improves performance and delivers personalized content to logged in users. Coming next is Cache Lifespan. Cache lifespan is the time you want to store the cached files on your website. The default limit is set to 10 hours, which will work for most websites. However, you can set it to a lower value if you run a very busy site, or a higher value if you don't update your website frequently. After the lifespan time has passed, WP Rocket will delete the cached files. It'll also immediately start preloading the cache with updated content. Once everything is in place, simply click on Save Changes. Moving next to the File Optimization tab, WP Rocket provides a convenient solution for minifying static files like JavaScript and CSS style sheets on your website. By accessing the File Optimization tab in the WP Rocket plugin settings, you can effortlessly enable the minification feature. 
Once there, you'll find checkboxes for selecting the specific file types you wish to be minified, such as JavaScript and CSS. By enabling minification for these file types, WP Rocket automatically optimizes them by removing unnecessary characters, white space, and comments resulting in faster page loading times and improved overall performance. Minifying static content reduces the size of those files. While the impact on website performance may not be noticeable in most cases, it can have significant benefits for high traffic websites by reducing bandwidth usage and saving on hosting costs. However, it's important to be cautious when enabling file minification, as it can lead to unexpected issues such as files not loading or not functioning correctly. You can also combine CSS files. You can simply specify URLs of CSS files to be extracted for minification, and you can also optimize CSS delivery to eliminate render blocking CSS on your website. Similarly, you can minify JavaScript files as talked about earlier. You can explore other options as well on your own. You, you can also delay JavaScript execution. You can explore various options here. Once everything's in place, don't forget to save the changes. Moving next to Media Settings. This includes Lazy Load. Images, after videos, are typically the second heaviest elements on a web page and take longer to load than text, increasing the overall page size. To address this, popular websites utilize lazy loading, a technique that delays image downloads. Rather than loading all images simultaneously, lazy loading focuses on downloading only the images that will be visible on the user's screen. This approach ensures faster page loading and provides a perceived faster experience for users. WP Rocket comes with a built-in lazy loading feature. You can enable lazy loading for images by simply switching to the Media tab on the Plugin Settings page. You can also enable lazy loading for embeds like YouTube videos and iframes. You can also add missing image dimensions as well since it helps the reading experience. Once done, simply save the changes. Next, you can review the preloading settings in WP Rocket by switching to the Preload tab. By default, the plugin starts to crawl your home page and follow the links it finds there to preload the cache. You, you can simply enable link preloading. You can preload fonts as well. WP Rocket gives you full control over caching. Once everything's in place, don't forget to save. WP Rocket gives you full control over caching. For example, you can switch to the Advanced Rules tab on the Settings page to exclude pages that you don't want to be cached. You can exclude sensitive pages from the cache. The Never Cache option will prevent caching and optimization based on the presence of the specified cookie. Never Cache URLs lets you specify URLs that should never be cached, ensuring that certain pages or sections always generate fresh content. Never Cache cookies define specific cookies that, when present, prevent caching, useful for dynamic or personalized content that shouldn't be cached. You can also specify user agents that should never see cached pages. Always Purge URLs forces the cache to be cleared for specific URLs whenever a change is made, ensuring that the latest content is displayed to visitors. Next is Cache Query String. Query strings are the additional parameters that follow a URL and are commonly used to pass information between web pages. When the Query String feature is enabled in WP Rocket, it means that URLs with Query Strings will be treated as separate cacheable items. By default, WP Rocket ignores query strings and caches the content of a URL regardless of the query string parameters. However, enabling this feature allows you to have more control over caching based on query strings. Now let's move to the Database tab. 
This tab provides options to optimize and clean up your WordPress database, removing unnecessary data and improving database performance. You can clean up post revision by checking the required box. You can also check boxes beside auto drafts and trashed posts. You can also delete spam and trashed comments by enabling the respective settings. It's important to clean up expired transients to prevent the database from getting cluttered with unnecessary data. You can schedule automatic cleanup as well. Once done, don't forget to save changes and optimize. Coming next to CDN, while WP Rocket itself is not a content delivery network, or CDN, it's often used in conjunction with CDN services to further enhance website speed and efficiency. When using WP Rocket with a CDN, you typically configure the plugin to integrate with your chosen CDN provider. This integration allows WP Rocket to automatically update the URLs of static files, like images, CSS, or JS on your website to point to the CDN servers. As a result, when a user visits your website, the static content is delivered from the CDN servers instead of your web server, reducing the load on your server and improving page load times. You can simply check the box and enable CDN, and then you just need to mention the CNAME of the CDN here. Coming up next is the Heartbeat tab. The Heartbeat API allows WordPress to send a periodic request to the hosting server in the background. This allows your website to perform scheduled tasks. For example, when writing blog posts, the editor uses the Heartbeat API to check connectivity and post changes. You can click on the Heartbeat API tab in WP Rocket to control this feature and reduce the Heartbeat API frequency. Reducing its frequency will improve performance, especially on larger sites. Once the changes are done, don't forget to save. Coming next into add-ons. WP Rocket also comes with some ready-to-deploy features that are available as add-ons that you can see here. If you're using the Cloudflare CDN, then you need this add-on to make it work alongside WP Rocket. Simply enable the add-on and click on the Modify Options button. After that, you need to enter your Cloudflare account credentials. Doing this will connect WP Rocket to your Cloudflare account. After that, come to the Image Optimization tab. WP Rocket provides Imageify for image optimization. You can compress your images and make the website faster. Coming up next is the Tools tab. The plugin also makes it easier to import and export plugin settings. You can switch to the tools to easily export and import plugin settings. This is helpful when moving WordPress from a local server to a live website and when moving WordPress to a new domain. Below that, you can find the option to roll back the plugin to an earlier version. This comes in handy if a WP Rocket update didn't work as expected. So that was all about this amazing video in how to use the WP Rocket plugin to improve the speed and performance of your website. I hope you learned a lot from this video. If you face any problems or you need help, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.